Welcome to the Indie Film Hustle Podcast, episode number 102. If you compromise what you're trying to do just a little bit, you'll end up compromising a little more the next day, a little more the next week, and when you lift your head, you're suddenly really far away from where you were trying to go. Spike Jones. Broadcasting from the back alley in Hollywood, it's the Indie Film Hustle Podcast, where we show you how to survive and thrive as an indie filmmaker in the jungles of the film biz. And here's your host, Alex Ferrari. Welcome, my indie film hustlers, to another episode of the Indie Film Hustle Podcast. I am your humble host, Alex Ferrari. Today's show is sponsored by Masterclass, and to be more specific, Werner Herzog's Masterclass. I've now taken this course, guys, and it is amazing, amazing, amazing. If you guys don't know who Werner Herzog is, he's an Academy Award winning director. If you've heard his voice, you'll know who he is. He directed Grizzly Man, among other great documentaries and feature films. He's got a total of 70 feature films, plus over 50 awards. It's remarkable. So he decided to team up with Masterclass to create an amazing online resource for filmmakers as he teaches you, as he says, the essentials of filmmaking that you can learn within two weeks and you definitely don't have to go to film school. This is over five hours of video. You'll get a workbook that you could download as well as access to Werner as well. So the course is coming out very, very soon, but if you sign up now, you'll get early access. So all you have to do is head over to IndieFilmHustle.com forward slash masterclass to gain instant access to this course. So guys, uh, I have some updates for you on the This Is Meg front. We are done. I know it's crazy. You heard me on the show back a few months ago that we were going to start making a movie, and we are now done with the movie. It is, and it was, a pretty fast turnaround. Now, we still have a few things here left to do, but we have finished and completed our festival version of the movie, meaning that it is as polished uh, and it's very acceptable to be seen. But, uh, you know, I'm I'm the ultimate, uh, you know, I'm an artist, so I'm going to keep going back and tweaking it as long as I can. But I needed to get something out. And that, sunline, that Sundance deadline, uh, self-imposed Sundance deadline really helped uh, rally the troops and get everything done really, really quickly. So we have submitted it to a few festivals, uh, Sundance being one of them, because as I've always said, it is the law. You must submit to Sundance. So we'll see what happens. We'll see how Meg is uh, accepted in the world. And uh, I will be working on now a trailer for the movie in the next few weeks. Don't don't hold your breath. I got a lot of stuff to do. I've been been out working on Meg so long that I've kind of let a few things fall to the wayside. So I got to catch up now. But within the next couple months, hopefully by the end of October, I'll have a trailer for This Is Meg up, so you guys can kind of see a taste of what uh, what we have in store for you guys. So again, thank you all so so much for your support, your help financially um, and uh, emotionally <laughs> through this entire uh, this entire process. And, you know, this is a really quick, really quick turnaround from the idea to the final movie. And I'm really proud of the movie. And I, I I'm really love what we were able to do with it. Uh, I love the look of it, that, you know, the actual technical image looks great. The sound came out amazing. Uh, from a trip over at Monkey Land Audio, those guys did an amazing job with the sound, and you know, um, I, and I've said this before on the show, man. I really owe you guys a lot because I did this project because I think I just had your support. I know it's, it's kind of funny as that sounds. Uh, you just knowing that the tribe is out there listening and sending good wishes and support. Uh, messaging me, emailing me, uh, you know, tweeting me, all that kind of stuff, really gave me um, gave me the support I needed to get this this movie done as fast and and hopefully as good as, as I think it is. Um, but it was I, I owe a lot to you guys. So um, and I also wanted to prove to you guys and to everyone listening that it's doable. That you know I wanted to kind of be that beacon of like, hey guys, look, I did it. You can too. And, uh, you know, it's it's one thing to talk about making movies. It's another thing to go make one. And I, I hope and I'm going to be showing you little by little uh, over the months coming uh, a lot of the little tricks of the trade that I did to get this movie done. Of course, if you're part of the Indie Film Syndicate, you're going to be getting a lot of detailed instruction on every aspect of uh, This Is Meg and how we made it and that whole ball, the whole ball of wax 
which of course you can head over to IndieFilmSyndicate.com and check that out. And by the way, everybody who signed up for that free month, uh, I hope you're enjoying uh, the syndicate. Uh, I love having all you guys in in the group and I see you guys are searching around and taking a lot of courses, being active in the uh, Facebook group and all that stuff. So thank you again so, uh, so much guys for everything. And uh, let's keep going. I'm already, I'm already planning the next one and you think I'm crazy, but I'm not that far off of it. You know, I'm, I might start shooting another movie before the year is out because I don't have enough to do. Apparently, apparently I don't have enough to do that. I have to now, go and uh and shoot another movie so uh <laughs> you, you know i know you guys are laughing right now as you're listening to me on your commute or in your car or while you're working out they're like alex you're crazy man man alex you're crazy why are you gonna go and make it you know he's not he's he's kidding right you guys should know me better by now i might not be kidding so we'll talk later about that <laughs> So, guys, we are having a fundraiser, a comedy fundraiser for Meg for, um, you know, for fees for like post and uh, help us with the, pro- you know, some some of the costs that we had in post, some of the costs for film festivals and posters and uh, travel and the whole film festival circuit. We're having a little fundraiser and we're doing a comedy night in Pasadena at the Ice House. We're doing it on Saturday, October 22nd, and it's going to be hosted by Joseph Reitman, who's in the movie. Everybody uh, is going to be there. Is going is is a star in the movie. We've got Joseph Reitman, who was just on Ray Donovan. We have Sean Polowski. Uh, she was on che- Chelsea lately, and uh, she also plays uh, Meg's agent in the movie. Of course, we have Meg herself, Julie Michelle Milian, and then we also also have Carlos Al Al Rocky from Reno Nine One One, and they're going to be doing a stand up show for us. Uh, and all proceeds will go to help. This is Meg. So, uh, again, it's Saturday, October 22nd at the Pasadena Ice House. Uh, For tickets, call 626-577-1894. And tickets are $20. So, uh, it'll be a great night. I'll be there. uh, And there might be a little surprise, some Meg stuff. I'm not not, not promising anything. I'm just saying maybe. But uh, if you're in town, if you're in L.A. or in the the Los Angeles area, uh, definitely uh, come check us out, guys. So, guys, today's show. Let's get to today's show. Um, I wanted. I, I kind of remembered this technique um, about how to production design and art direct a house, uh, a scene, a set with like no money. So, what if I told you? And I did this. This did work on my short film, Broken. Uh, and I didn't do it on this movie because I didn't need to because uh, all the art direction was done uh, existing and we kind of played with it. But if it was something a little bit more stylized or we had an empty house or, or or something like that, but let's just say if I told you, let's say you had your house and you have your house location and that's let's say you're going to shoot something in your house. and But your furniture is kind of like, you know, hey, you know, it's not exactly what the scene calls for. It doesn't call for, it doesn't, it's not what the scene calls for. So what do you do? Like you're going to go out and buy a whole bunch of furniture and bring it in just for the, for the, for the shot, for the shot for a few days uh, or for the week. Uh, are you going to go try to rent it at a prop house? That's going to cost you an arm and a leg plus insurance, plus all sorts of other craziness. Um, but what if I told you that, Oh, by the way, if you go rent something, they're generally not going to deliver anything to you either. You're going to have to go pick it up and all this kind of crap. What if I told you, that I can show you a way to not only art direct and production design your entire house, let's say it's an entire house where you would empty out your house or empty out rooms um, and fill it with brand new furniture, high-end thousands of dollars worth of furniture, TVs, uh, um, accessories, lamps, chairs, dining tables, uh, anything you need, anything you need, but but... not only will you be able to rent it for like nothing, but they'll deliver it for you and pick it up for you when you're done. How is this possible, Alex? How is this possible, my friend? How is it possible? Well, it's something called rent a center. <laughs> now, I know you guys are going to be going, what? Rent a center? You guys haven't heard of rent a center. Rent a center is a very huge company. Uh, in the States, in the United States, and they allow you to rent furniture by the week. So generally speaking, you're not going to need furniture for much longer than a week. Uh, If not, maybe two or three weeks, you could do a month deal if you want. But generally, that's how long you're going to run 
you know work on a movie for. So how much is how, how much is this really going to cost? Like how much would a dining room set cost me a week? Well, to buy a dining room set, just let's say a really expensive set, let's say a thousand dollar set. Well, for a thousand dollars, a thousand dollar set, you can rent that for twenty bucks, thirty bucks, maybe maybe forty five bucks at the most, at the absolute most. But you can rent appliances, full uh, bedroom sets, dining room sets, uh, living room sets, as well as big screen TVs, computers. Which, by the way, if you rent the computer, you can use it for production. They'll they'll rent they'll charge you twenty five bucks a, a week for it. But if you need it for a few weeks, hey. But if you need a computer as a prop, you can do that. Uh, any kind of appliance, refrigerators, washers, dryers, anything that you would need to fill a house, they have lamps little accessories, little knickknacks, all that kind of stuff. You can rent all these big items for pennies on the dollar. So a lamp will cost you like a a $100 lamp will cost you 7 bucks for the week. You see what I'm saying? So all of a sudden you can add a tremendous amount of production value for little very very little money. Now of course you'll need a credit card. So without a credit card this won't work, but you'll need a credit card so you can put it on file and just head over to rent a center that's r e n t a center.com by the way i am not being paid a dime for this i am not being there's no 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 tr- no money being made on this at all this is just a nice inside tip that i think will help a lot of filmmakers out there cuz it i was amazed i think we walked in and we actually cut a deal this was back in the day but we cut a deal for like i think it was a bedroom set a full bedroom set a full living room set because um, we had an empty house at the time, so we had to em- fill it out completely. Uh, a bunch of tables, um, a kitchen set, and, and a refrigerator, all that stuff. I think we paid like 150 bucks for it. For and we did like we told them, look, we need it for a day. They're like, okay. They came in, delivered it, set it all up for you. Then when you're done, you call them. They come and pick it up. It's crazy. But that's their that's their business. That's what they do. So I think it would be very very helpful. To filmmakers to do so go to rentacenter.com check it out see what works for you if you're going to do a shot and or you're going to do scenes anywhere in a home um, or a set even you build a set and you need to fill the setup same thing you can use them it's a great great resource for filmmakers guys and uh, like I said I did it with broken and it worked amazingly back then and I, I can't believe I didn't even think about it for um for Meg, because I really, we really didn't need it, so I guess that the it wasn't it wasn't something that I was thinking about. But I thought about it the other day, and I was like, man, I got to tell this to the tribe because I think they're going to get a real kick out of it, and I think it's going to help a lot of uh, filmmakers out there to get a little bit more production value out of their production design. And by the way, and if it's not Rent a Center, there are other companies out there that do the same kind of business where you can rent furniture by the week, like rent to own kind of places. So if it's not Rent a Center in the US, there's other there's other companies that do the same thing that you can kind of look out, go out and look for, as well as uh, anywhere in the in other areas of the world, there should be companies um, that do this kind of business where you rent to own stuff. But if you're only going to rent it, you can rent it out for a week and you're done. And it's so much better than buying cheap furniture that you got to go drag in, carry it, and then when you're done with the movie, what are you going to do, do with it? You're going to try to sell it. This is in and out and it's brand new stuff. It looks great, really high-end looking. So again, depends on what your movie is and what you're trying to do, but it definitely can help you guys. So definitely check it out, all right? Uh, don't forget to head over to freefilmbook.com. That's freefilmbook.com to download your free filmmaking audiobook from Audible. And of course, if you guys want to check out um, the movie we're just talking about, Broken, uh, you can head over to IndieFilmHustle.com forward slash Amazon and it'll take you directly to my Amazon Video Direct links to watch uh, all my short films for free. And you can see the process of what, uh, you know, how I put it all up and how, you know, we're actually making money with it. Uh, and, and they're old. I mean, Broken's a 12-year-old short film and I'm still making money with it. I just put it up and Amazon uh, through Amazon Video Direct and it's pretty amazing. And if you guys want more information about Amazon Video Direct, I'm actually going to do a whole tutorial in the weeks to come about how I actually put everything up, the, the, the issues I had with closed captioning, what I did to get around that, and options and all that kind of good stuff for that. But uh, check it out, IndieFilmHustle.com forward slash Amazon. 
And I would really appreciate any kind of honest reviews, hopefully good, but any honest reviews of the shorts. Uh, the better reviews I get, the more rankings you get up there, and hopefully more people see it. So if you have Amazon Prime, it's free. Uh, if not, I think you can rent them for like 99 cents or something like that. But definitely check it out, guys. So keep that hustle going, keep that dream alive, and I'll talk to you soon. Thanks for listening to the Indie Film Hustle podcast at IndieFilmHustle.com. That's I-N-D-I-E-F-I-L-M-H-U-S-T-L-E.com.